for building. As you can see, when uh, building things, or when uh, buying things, it's always good to have plenty of these gallon size uh, freezer bags laying around. Because when you have those, well shit, you can just buy, uh, you know, get something in the mail, throw it in a bag, and it's all ready for you when you need it again. It's so much easier than uh, throwing it in a case or keeping it, God forbid, not all together. But yeah, that's only so exciting, isn't it? Let me see if I can get more light there. Mm, maybe that's too much. I don't know. It's hard to tell from this perspective. <laughs> Let me see if I can mess with it a little bit. It is probably way too much light. Okay. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Let's see. Am I recording? That's one thing I gotta make sure of. Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I thought I'd talk about the Supernatural a little bit, because, I mean, I, I made this channel to talk about toys and stuff, and at the same time, I had planned on doing other things, too. You know, like, uh, well, talking about the Supernatural and maybe even doing some funny shit, but I don't know, I just haven't gotten around to anything else but building toys, or buying toys, or reviewing toys, whatever this thing is that I'm doing. But anyway... Yeah, this is a good, uh... Man, so much dirt around here. Shit. And don't mind the purple on my fingernails. That's from a uh, hair dye. But yeah, I mean, I have volumes of paranormal things that have gone on in my life. And they still continue to this day. And, man, I hate that none of it's really recorded in any official fashion, you know? So, I might as well do it now while I'm talking. Uh, yeah. So, when I was really young... Oh, for fuck's sakes, don't tell me I ran into a problem already. <laughs> See, I'm looking at that right there, and I'm seeing a big old plate like this, which I imagine is that color. But these are black. I am almost certain that these are the wrong color. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I need one for there, one for there, and a third. Yeah, that one's missing. Well, you son of a prick. <laughs> well, that was a quick story, wasn't it? <laughs> Shit, I am missing one single brick. Uh, I gotta go look for it, apparently. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> okay, so my dumbass, as you recall, had bought two different 7-Eleven uh, bootleg sets, and I somehow had thrown this package into the package of larger ones. Oh well. So yeah, back to story time. I don't even remember if I started the story yet. I don't think I did. <laughs> well, let's see. Back before I was in school, before I knew the alphabet, before I really knew numbers, uh, I'd been seeing things. And as I'd found, uh, as I found out later in life, uh, I was not the only one who had been seeing them. So I'm sitting there on the couch, you know, eating my little bowl of rice, watching Sesame Street, and I remember that a very specific day like dead on you know that's exactly what I was doing I was uh, watching Sesame Street and eating a little bowl of rice this little favorite red bowl of mine and uh, uh I'm missing a gray piece there we are and you know I didn't know any better back then I mean picture this I'm on the couch it's the morning I'm eating a little bowl of rice, I'm watching Sesame Street, and I look over to my right, and there, in front of the window, well, I say in front of the window, but it was more like a few feet away from the window, I'm just watching these things on the floor, and these things are blobs. That's the only way I can describe it now. Uh, they were blobs, almost like pill bugs, if you know what they're like. Uh, little gray things, you know, and they look kind of dusty almost. But, 
you know, there was no anomaly of light taking place. I mean, these were there. I mean, they were crawling around. Oh, God, there's two different types of gray. Uh, they were crawling around, and they were just kind of blobbing over top of each other. You know, they weren't making a sound. There was no bad feelings coming off of it. I mean, it was very much mundane. I mean, they were just blobs blobbing all over each other. And keep in mind, I'm a small child. I don't even know the fucking alphabet. And to me, I didn't know that was that abnormal. I mean, you know, you go outside, you see insects, you, uh, uh, you know, you see weird shit in nature all around the house and stuff and in the house. And to me, this was just another thing. This was a part of life. I, I didn't realize until much later that these things were abnormal, you know? You get exposed to horror movies eventually, and you're like, ooh, anything unknown like that is scary. But for the longest time, this shit was just there. And yeah, I mean, there's really not much else to say about the these blob things. They were just big old blobs blobbing over all over each other. It was just like a pile. And, and the funny thing is, it wasn't until decades later that I was reading a uh, Japanese comic, a uh, manga. Oh, God, what was the name of it? It was uh, by Rumiko Takahashi, I know. But in it, uh, it had a chick who was able to call forth <laughs> blobby ghost-like creatures that looked like pill bugs, and uh, they would eat people that she didn't like. It wasn't Mermaid Scar. I'll probably remember it after I uh, uh, stop recording. But, uh, you know, I mean, they were just there. They were just blobbing over top of each other. And it wasn't like I was uh, blinded or, you know. I mean, it was the early morning. I mean, it was the sun was up, you know. I'd been awake a good long while. And I'm there eating and I'm watching TV. And, you know, I'm pretty far away from the TV. So it's not like my eyes are goofing up or something. And, I mean, I sat there and watched these things for minutes at a time, you know? It wasn't like it was just something that, uh, you know, I blinked and they were there. I mean, it's something that I actually sat there, watched, and studied, you know? And granted, it was a long time ago. You know, I was a very small child, so you're probably going, Oh, well, <laughs> that much time passes. Your memory must be flawed at that point, you know? But... I mean, there's been a lot of things since then, and even continuing today, where, you know, they not only uh, still happen, but they're verified. However, I do have to say, I haven't had any of those blobby-type creatures like that, not like that anyway, that I've seen since then. That was strictly a thing I saw before I'd uh, gone to school for the first time. Yeah, it, it's, I mean, I've seen a lot of weird shit, good and bad, you know, since then. But not specifically that. And do I know what they were? Of course not. I, I never know what this shit is. It just happens. Uh, and, you know, I mean, I mentioned it to my mom, you know, because she seems to be the only other one in our household who ever saw anything, you know. Well, at least that I'm aware of, anyway. And, you know, she, she didn't know what I was talking about. Uh, let's see. But yeah, there was things I would see in that house uh, before I was, uh, like I said, even in school and stuff. Uh, God, I'm getting sidetracked here. <laughs> it's like, uh, there was another thing that was kind of weird. Oh, I can't see that to shine on it. Okay. There was one thing I saw very early on. It would be me at the bottom of the staircase and I would look up at the top of the staircase and you know it was in all different forms of light too it would be uh, you know in the early mor hours of the morning it would be you know twilight it would be you know midday whatever the hell I would see it it was this it was a tall well I guess not that tall it was a tall see-through humanoid a dark see-through humanoid that would run from my room into my parents room and that's it there's no punchline that that's all it did <laughs> very boring and i had seen it quite a few times multiple times it wasn't like anything that was like scary because once again i was too young to know to be scared and even after i was it was just this boring thing that had always been there and it was totally random you know 
it would just happen. And every time it did, I was like, huh. Because, <laughs> you know, there's really no other way to react. It's just there. It just does that. I mean, what is it? Who the fuck knows? So, you know, I had been seeing this since I was very, very young. And one day, in my teens, I had I was at the bottom of the stairs, and I looked up at the top, and there the motherfucker went again. And I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that thing. I mean, I've been seeing that shit forever. And at that moment, my mom came around the corner, and she's looking at me. And she sees me looking up the stairs, and she goes, what are you looking at? I go, ah, it's just this thing that I've always seen, that, uh, you know, from the bottom of the stairs here. And she's like, well, what is it? <laughs> I go, well, <laughs> I mean, all it is, oh, I've done something wrong here, haven't I? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, it's just this thing that runs from my room into your room, and it's humanoid, and it's dark, and it's see-through, and that's all I can really say about it, because <laughs> that's all it really is. And she's like, you can see that too, and I'm like, yeah. And she goes, yeah, and it runs from your room into my room. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you've been seeing this, and she's like, oh my god, yeah. Ever since we moved in this house, it's like I've been seeing this thing. And I'm like, well, damn, I didn't know that, you know. That was kind of a shock to me. And she goes, do you know what it is? And I'm like, I have no idea what it is. And she goes, I think it's a demon. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, how is that a demon? And she goes, well, it's dark. And I'm like, uh, okay, so you're saying because it's dark, it's a demon. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, how do you figure she goes, well, it's dark. And I'm like, okay, so <laughs> anything dark is a demon. She's like, yeah, that means evil. And I'm just like, oh, God. I mean, that, uh, I mean, even if you go out in nature, I mean, everything black doesn't mean bad. You know, it, it just bugged me. And she goes, she goes, well, if it's not a demon, what do you think it is? And I go, honestly, the only thing I know is it's black, it's see-through, and it just runs from my room into your room, and that's it. That's all I can take away from that. That's all that it is. I go, if you're reading into it more, that's because you're religious and I'm not. You know? It's like it's like you're just demonizing this thing, <laughs> even though it, there's no point to it. I mean, like, why would you call that bad when you don't even know what it is? It's like, uh, I'm like, it doesn't do anything bad. It doesn't give off those emanations of dread like some horrible things do. Uh, that's a whole nother matter. I mean, it, it was just crazy, you know? I mean, we, we both had been seeing the same thing for years, and I was the only one who retained the sanity to not apply religion to it. I mean, how do you apply religion to something that just is so boring? I mean, it, it was just this thing, you know? It just did its thing. <laughs> <sighs> It's like seeing a bird fly through the sky that's black and be like, that's a demon bird. You know, no, it's just, it, it, it is whatever it is, you know? Eh. And I got no feelings from it whatsoever. I mean, the concept that this thing was aware of me, no, I didn't have anything like that. It, the, the thing was just, it might as well have been a videotape uh, playing on loop. I mean, it, it would just be like, Hello, goodbye, and that's it, and you won't see it for weeks or days or whatever the fuck, or months or years, you know? I mean, it was just there. I don't know what it was. Uh, I didn't get any bad things from it, though. Uh, I'm still fucking up, aren't I? No. Yes. No. Uh, and that's not the only time that I'd seen, or that I've had a verification that I wasn't going cuckoo in my head because that was not the only time I saw black uh, see-through things and other people verified that they had been seeing them as well. Hmm, that's a hell of a jump between two and three. What the hell? What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, I see what they did. Whenever they lay down bricks here, they color them bluish white in the next pick. Okay, that makes sense. God, that was confusing. I never saw that before. Uh, let's see. Uh, skip ahead to my ex-wife and me. Way, way far 
in uh, the future. <laughs> and, you know, we woke up one morning and we had the munchies and, uh, you know, I'm like 7-Eleven. She's like 7-Eleven. So, you know, the sun's just starting to come up. <laughs> and it was kind of funny because it's like uh, while we're driving there and, and you know, my ex-wife was a city girl, you know. She didn't really have too much uh, experience with the outdoors. But it's like uh, while we're driving, and this is the middle of Jersey too, you know, this is like Hillsboro and shit. And it's like uh, we're going past a courthouse in Hillsboro, and it's like they're on the side of the road is this fucking dumb deer just sitting there, some really young deer. And, you know, she's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And uh, <laughs> just to be a smart ass, I pull up to the thing and I'm like, excuse me. Do you know where route whatever is, you know, and and the deer's sitting there like, eh, and then it just runs away, and I, you know, she's like, oh my god, I saw a deer, you know, like freaking out and stuff. But anyway, you know, the sun is just starting to come up, and we go to Seven Eleven and we pick up a whole bunch of snack food shit, you know, and we we drive home, you know, you know, about I don't know, fifteen minutes later, and. It's like she's in front of me at our door, and I'm right behind her, obviously, and I uh, open up the door for her, you know, because I'm a fucking gentleman, or whatever the fuck, and they're right in front of us on the living room floor. I mean, we had this cushion sitting on the middle of the living room floor. I forget why, but we did. And, you know, I reach past her, I turn the knob, and I push the door open, and we don't move. We don't, we don't walk into it. Because they're in the middle of the living room, you know, just maybe, I would say, four to five feet away from us, is a cat. There is a fucking cat on the pillow in the middle of the of the uh, living room. Only it's not a cat. It's a dark see-through cat. And, you know, the thing just sits up like a normal cat. And then it just turns. And then it goes, boink, and jumps essentially into the wall and uh, you know we just stood there for a second <laughs> you know we didn't say anything we didn't do anything we just stood there for a second you know because that's a smart thing to do when weird shit happens it's just a, a smart way to do things and god I don't have that piece I don't think their pieces jive but yeah uh, so you know we're like <laughs> and we walk in and we go to the uh, kitchen and we start putting our bags down on the counter and stuff and as I often do I just stop and I go okay what did you see and she goes well I saw a cat and it was in the middle of the floor and I'm like right and then it stood up and she goes yeah I go and then it turned right and she goes, yeah. She goes, then it jumped into the wall to the right. And you could see the legs and the tail and everything. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I saw, too. You know. I mean, it is what it is. We both saw the same thing. And I go, any ideas? Because it's not our cats. They're not here. Or, you know, they're asleep or whatever the fuck. She goes, nope. I don't know what it was. You know. I mean, there were times my wife would lie to me and stuff and tell me she didn't know something was, and I would know that she was not telling the truth because, well, I know things, but, you know, it was, it was interesting. So, once again, you know, that would be the second time that I had someone verify that this shadow creature in front of me was not being seen just by me. And that's really nice because anybody can have experiences and stuff, you know? But it's just so much nicer when someone goes, you're not crazy, I'm looking at it too, you know. And, you know, this has played out a few times in life, actually. Because around that time, I was working at this job. It was a place that you had to go through a lot of security to get into, kind of. I'm not going to go into it. But anyway, there were these vaults that they had underground. Well, no, I'm, I'm jumping way too far ahead. Uh, I had a, a buddy that worked at this place, an older Filipino man, and he was cool, you know, it's like, I kind of uh, caught on, it's like, every once in a while, 
I'll just look at somebody and they'll look at me and we'll know exactly that the other person knows about supernatural shit. It's like there's just this connection that's uh, unsaid that's just made. And it's like, oh, that person knows shit. You know, and, and that's practically word for word what we said when we realized that. But yeah, we, we were friends and shit and always talked about supernatural stuff and I am not seeing this other piece at all. Unless that's supposed to be clear? Oh my god. I'm telling you, that I really hate stuff like this. It's like you have a brick, then you have a brick, and you can barely tell that one's supposed to be white and one's supposed to be clear. That's shitty. <laughs> it's so hard to figure out. But yeah, uh, so me and him, you know, we would swap uh, stories about the paranormal and stuff. You know, he, he would tell me some fantastic shit from uh, the Philippines that he's encountered. And uh, man, it, I mean, it's like, it's funny because you experience these things all your life, right? And you're up for anything that happens to you because <laughs> you've lived a lot of it already. You know, you see something that trumps the last thing and you're like, well, I guess that's just more pieces to the puzzle now, you know? More pieces to the puzzle of life. You know, you, you've gotten one more little piece of information that tells you what kind of world you're living in for real. And, you know, that's cool and all. And, but then you encounter someone like my friend and <laughs> it's like his stories, some of them that he brought back with him from the Philippines, holy shit, I mean, they even made me go, what? You know? I mean, uh, he, he told me about objects that he had encountered and, you know, his family uh, members here and there through time have encountered and the strange things they could do and the strange properties they had and some, how some of them became broken and failed and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into that, though, because uh, that's a whole other thing. And... Uh, you know, he described lots of crazy shit to me. And it's not like I didn't believe him. It's just that, you know, I had to stop and go, you know what? I've got my own crazy stories and shit. I'm not going to demonize his uh, accounts just because they're really hard to believe, you know? So anyway, whether or not he was uh, a person that knows about the supernatural was not in question. Because... Him and I both experienced things at the same time in that fucking place. Uh, as far as shadow people go, I mean, picture this. You're in the lobby of a, uh, you know, a, a, a greeting room type area of a place. And it's brightly lit. There's, there's no lack of light going on here. I mean, there's fuck tons of light, you know. It's a bright, brightly lit welcome room. They have to be. And we were headed towards a door, which led to a very small staircase, and by small staircase, I mean very small staircase, which had a brightly lit stairwell, which led into a vault, which was also brightly lit. What I'm trying to get across here is there's no fucking shadow opportunities here, you know? So, we're, we're sitting there, blah, 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 gabbing while we're walking towards this door, you know? I mean, we are wide awake. It's not like we're fucking tired or some shit. You know, we're in the middle of our work day. And like I said, we're, we're gabbing like motherfuckers. And I reach for the door and I open up this door. Hey, that's a, just like the last uh, thing that happened. <laughs> but yeah, I reach for the door, I open it, and we both stop talking. Because right in front of my fucking face... I'm not even going to say two inches. It was probably closer than two inches. It was literally in my face. Totally in my face. A shadow person. A, a man. A, a thing. Just standing there. And you could make out the outline perfectly. The outline was not even in question. It was just a perfect humanoid right in front of me. Maybe it was female. I don't know. But it was... It was. I had a, an, an emotion of being male, but it might not have been. But... You know, the thing is right in my fucking face. And I don't say a word because, you know, I, well, we'd just been interrupted in mid-sentence, both of us, you know. And I just do a quick glance over at him. He's silent. He's staring right at it. <laughs> I stare back at the thing. And I don't know what the fuck to do exactly. I mean, I mean, shit. I mean, I've seen shadow people before. I've seen shadow animals before. I've seen a lot of shadows before. 
and some very, very dark and not very good. Uh, but fuck, this thing's right in my goddamn face. It's like this. It's right in my face. And, you know, I mean, I was stunned, clearly, because, well, duh, there's a fucking shadow person staring me straight in the face. But And I say staring, but there's no eyes, there's no anything. It's an outline of a human, and it's there. And, you know, you can't make out features, you just make an outline. You know, and it was a strong outline, though. That's what was fucking crazy. And it's like, uh, you know, finally I've composed myself enough, you know. And, and, I mean, time is passing here. I mean, time is literally passing here where I'm like, you know what? Shit like this might not last. And I, uh... Oh. Get in there. And so I start getting the idea, hey, maybe I should say something or do something or interact with it in some fashion. You know, so right as I was trying to form something to say and or reach out to it, it just stops. Well, I mean, it was already stopped, but it it, it turns. It turns as if you were watching a person in front of you turn. You know, turn around. And then it runs down the stairs that we have to go into <laughs> and it goes through the door and when I say through the door the door did not open it went through the fucking door literally you know and you know typical ghost type you know Hollywood shit and <laughs> again me and my friend we just stand there and we're like hmm you know and <laughs> he looks over at me I look over at him and <laughs> And we look back where it had just exited. And, you know, it's like, what the fuck are you supposed to do, you know? <laughs> so, you know, a couple more moments pass, and I'm just like... <sighs> <laughs> I just walk down the stairs, and he follows me. And we go into the uh, uh, vault, too, you know, into the lower vault. You know, the same door that this thing had just passed through, you know, we, we passed through it, too. And... You know, I, I walk in there, and he walks in, and, eh, you know, we, we set our work down, and we start looking at it and stuff, and just like with my wife, and just like I always do, I, I just go, okay, what happened? And he goes, well, there was a shadow man right in front of you. I'm like, yeah. I go, and then he, he stayed there a few seconds, and then he turned, and... And he's like, yeah, and then he ran down the door and ran down the stairs and went through the door that we just went through. I'm like, yep. I'm like, any ideas? And he's like, no. He goes, I have no idea what that was or why it was there. I'm like, me neither. <laughs> it's like, back to work. You know, and I mean, what are you supposed to do? I mean, you know, I mean, uh, even if you hadn't seen stuff like that all your life, I mean, what would you do? I mean... It's just this thing that's there. It just does this thing, you know. There's there's no way to sit there and, like, freak out or anything about it, because, I mean, what for? What, what does freaking out do? You know what I mean? I mean... <laughs> and once again, it is rather mundane. I mean, yeah, it's something that doesn't quite belong there. You know, it, it's a startling thing. Like, you know, you lift up a newspaper, and, oh, shit, there's a spider underneath, you know, and you... You jump, you know, but once you stop jumping, you're like, it's a fucking spider. And, and in this case, you know, him and I had both seen shadows before, so it's like, oh my god, it's a it's a shadow person. What the fuck's it, what, what are they fucking doing there, you know? And I mean, you know, just the length, the, the, the duration that this thing was standing in front of me, it made me think that maybe there was supposed to be some kind of contact. I don't know, it was weird. I, I, I don't know why it would stick around that long. It was rather odd. But, you know, I mean, there's no way that a person who is sane can attempt to apply titles to things like this. I mean, you know, you tell somebody about this, and they're like, well, what do you think it was? And, you know, I mean, a religious person will go, it's a devil! You know, it's a demon, you know? And, you know, that's asinine, because they don't fucking know, you know? And with me, what do I think it was? I have no fucking idea. I have zero fucking idea. I mean, if I 
wanted to be, you know, dramatic about it. I could make some shit up, but it's not reality. I mean, I have no idea what the fuck it was. What am I doing wrong here? Something's wrong here. Hmm. If I had to, you know, if I was being forced to make a statement as to what it could be, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it was very corporeal looking, even though it was a shadow. I mean, if I had to wager a guess, I would say it's something that was cloaked or something from the future doing a... I mean, that, that's, a, that's, that's what's always funny about this shit. It's like people always assume that things have a, a mystical type of, you know, connotation to them. And why does it have to be mystical? I mean, for all we know, that could be a tour guide doing tours to the past who fucked up or got lost or, you know, turned his cloak off or some shit. I don't know. I'm talking out my ass. Yes, I am. But, you know, the point is we have no fucking idea what this shit is. I don't have any idea what this fucking shit is. It just is, you know? Why does it need two of those plates? Err... Okay, I think I already did that? No. Yes? No. Yes. No. I mean, I would be a damn dirty liar if I sat here and go, Oh, I know exactly what those are. You know, I don't. I have no fucking idea. I don't call them forth, consciously anyway. I don't ask for them to be there. I don't, you know... I don't know when they're going to show up. <laughs> you know, but I, from what I've seen, when there are other people with me, they also are seeing them. So that kind of rules out being bonkers. I mean, I really just don't know how else to approach that, you know? It would be a travesty of honesty to be like, I know exactly what's happening. I don't. I don't know shit. Not one fucking shit. Uh, where the hell's that go? Yeah. Me and my Filipino friend at that job, we saw other stuff too. It was, uh... Oh man, that was supposed to be there. Uh, in that same vault that we had to go to, you know, that this thing passed into, uh, a couple feet away from that doorway, it, that the place had a lot of rolling racks, and there was, like, data tapes and junk like that, you know, down these rolling racks. And, you know, you'd have, like, a whole big lane of them, and there'd be, like, one opening, you know, because you'd have to turn these cranks to, uh, you know, open up the rolling rack. So I'm there with a pile of, uh, you know, work in my hand, you know, a... a a case full of uh, data tapes and I walk by an open rolling rack you know an open lane and you know they're about I don't know maybe three feet wide maybe something like that and, and it's like I walk past it but as I walk past it I see something out of the corner of my eye oh my god and I get a feeling so you know I just slam on the brakes and you know playfully I walk backwards I walk backwards just to see what the fuck uh, I had thought I just saw. And <laughs> what I see a couple feet away from me, like in front of the wall, like not on the wall. It looked like it was like maybe slightly in front of the wall. I saw a portal. I saw a fucking portal. It was black. Uh, it was like, it was an oval and I want to say it was about, oh shit, maybe four feet high, if even. And it was only about this wide, I'd say, you know. And I just stopped. I just stopped dead. And I looked at it. And, you know, that's, like I said, that's what I do when I encounter things. I just stop, and I look, and I go into record mode in my head, you know, because... You know, what else am I going to do? I'm fucking... <laughs> there's there's nothing... There's no dramatic, uh, uh, you know, aspect to this shit. It's just, uh, you know, uh, observe. 
just observe whatever the fuck is happening and you know try not to let uh, you know emotion other emotions get in but this thing I mean I've encountered this before this thing was emanating emotions and I hate that shit because they're usually not very good ones and the ones coming off of this were bad I mean they were fucking awful it's like, you know, you ever watch, like, uh, those ghost hunting shows and stuff, and they're like, they're like, oh, I'm getting sick, I'm getting uh, bad feelings and stuff like that. They're not bullshitting. They're not bullshitting. Uh, stuff like that often emanates. God damn. Stuff like that often emanates dread. Like, it's not that you're seeing something and it's scary and you're getting scared. It's actually quite literally emitting dread you know it's a dark thing whatever it is it's it's sending out dread waves of dread and that really sucks of course and i mean i was pissed off it was funny it was like i was a little scared i guess you know because dread waves are never a good sign but I also was, like, pissed off that it existed. It was like, I, what, what happened was I stopped and I went closer to it. I actually advanced. I, I went a little bit closer to it. And uh, aside from the dread wave that was coming out of this thing, I was getting this feeling of absolute condescension. Like, whatever was on the other side hated me but at the same time was laughing at how tiny i was like like at how insignificant i was and it pissed me off <laughs> i mean it's like i could feel the negativity like like the emotion of i am nothing that was coming out of this ouch i gotta resituate my feet they fell asleep Ugh. ouch 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 fuck <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it, th this opening was just uh, pumping out horrible, horrible feelings. And it, it, there's just no way to describe it if you don't know what I'm talking about. If, if you, any of you have been in the paranormal like I have, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. You have no confusion as to what I'm talking about. Because once you've encountered it once or twice, you're like, I hate that shit. Because <laughs> it, it's, not, it's not even that it's... I mean, I guess it is scary, but more than that, it's just it's just so over the top wrong that it's absurd. And I just felt like really angry that it was there. And the angrier I was, the more it seemed to laugh. Like the more condescending the feeling was that uh, I was being manipulated, you know? I mean, the more angry it made me, the happier it was. And the best way, oh, I didn't even describe the portal, shit. The, I walked close to the portal and I saw blackness through it I, on the other side and it looked like, it was like a mound of earth, you know, and there was a tree and there was a rock, but everything was black. It's like the tree, the rock, and the mound of earth, it was outlined in a thin thin line of not white particularly but it had a, a minor minor aura to these three points of, of viewing and everything else was blackness pure blackness maybe there was a hue to the sky or you know the the, the background uh, aspect I don't know but uh, I could tell that it was just like this little hill I guess but I didn't see any creatures. I didn't see anything humanoid. I didn't see anything animal or even worse. But I did feel like on the outer edges, right outside my view, that there were things waiting right around the rim on the sides, waiting for me to get too close. And that was a very strong feeling. I mean, that was no bullshit, that one. I was just like, eh, I've gotten too close, you know? And I didn't go any further. I, I maintained that distance because yeah, it just felt bad. It just felt bad if I advanced any further. So I didn't. And this is wrong. What did I do wrong? 
Ah, fuck. Uh, that doesn't match. <laughs> Damn it! I messed up somewhere, and it looks like I messed up somewhere from the very beginning at the bottom. <laughs> oh, man, that sucks, Dick. <laughs> what did I do? Ugh, God. Hmm. Shit. <laughs> that sucks. I hate it when I build it up halfway, and it's like something integral from the beginning was bad. I don't see it. I don't see it at all. Mm, fuck. Uh, no, it should be right. What the fuck? Grr. Did I put an extra brick in there? I think... Yes, I see it. So yeah, sorry about that. I had uh, ventured too close to this portal, and I could tell that every inch I were to go closer would have been very bad somehow. I don't know exactly how, but I know <laughs> that it was, like, probably already too far. So, I backed up. I backed up, and I was very, very angry because... It was just this instinctual thing. I was practically screaming out inside, you should not be here. You don't belong here. You're breaking the rules. You know? And there are rules in the supernatural. That's a given. Don't even start with me on that. I'll be here forever. Uh, yeah, so something was breaking the rules. I don't know what they were exactly. And uh, I, I walked backwards. I walked backwards, and I was pissed off. And I trudged away, even though I was really angry and would have not minded uh, getting closer and getting confrontational. But I believe that was the trick. That was the gag, if I had. So I didn't go there. I believe that, you know, if I had gone closer, things would have been bad. It just pissed me off because they weren't supposed to be there. They didn't belong there. So anyway... So, you know, stupid me, I've seen a portal, right? And my friend, my Filipino friend, my older gentleman friend, he, uh, you know, I, I bumped into him many minutes later, right? And this was down also in Vault 2. And he runs up to me and he looks scared as fuck. And I'm like, well, it looks like you've seen something. <laughs> and, you know, I've, I've already got a story to tell him, you know? And why did that still not look right? God damn. I swear I'm not doing anything wrong there, but I looks like I am. Oh, wait. No. Fuck. I don't know. So, yeah, it, he, he, he comes up, and he's looking scared shitless. And, you know, I, I playfully, I'm, I'm like, I'm like well, it looks like you saw something. And he goes... I did. I go, ooh, was it circular? And he goes, no. What? He's like, wait, what? <laughs> and he, he's like, no, no. What I saw was more oval. I'm like, good, good. That's what I saw, too. It was oval. And he's like, yeah. He goes, wait a minute. You saw it, too? I'm like, yeah. I go down in Vault 2. He's like, yeah. I go, where in Vault 2? And he goes, all the way on the back wall. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. I go, I did see something, but it wasn't on the back wall. I saw it up towards the front of the vault, too. And he's like, really? I'm like, I'm like yeah. I, I go, I go. I saw it down this rolling rack over here, like about maybe a foot or not even a foot away from the wall. It was just an opening that, that didn't belong. And he goes, well, I saw that, but it was, you know, and he described it to me, and it was it was smaller than the one I had seen. And I'm like, well, where did you see it? And he goes, I saw it in the back of the vault uh, towards where the phone is and stuff. I'm like, really? You know, so we had essentially seen the same thing. He saw it in a totally different area of the building, though. Well, of, of the vault we were in, which I thought was kind of odd. That doesn't jive. God damn it. Arr, so frustrating. But it's like, uh, you know, he, he described his portal to me. 
and his was significantly smaller, and he couldn't see into it. He he was like it, it was just like this black portal, and there was like a, a you know a surface almost to the outside. It was like it was just darkness. You know, I'm like I'm like well, I mine was open. I, I was looking like right into it and shit. You know, and I you know described to him what I saw inside it and everything. But uh, yeah, I mean it, it's just. It's just weird because we had both apparently seen the same exact thing, just in different ways and in different places, but in the same room, which is curious. Makes me wonder about that place. Then again, that was that whole area of the jersey there. Uh, I'll probably cut that out. I don't want that said. Nah, who cares? Jersey. It was Jersey. But, but it's like, uh, yeah, and, you know... Now, the thing with my wife, I'm not going to get into shit, but she wasn't too nice to me, no. It was a, not a fun marriage, no, not in, the, not in the least. It was not a good marriage, it was very bad. And the one thing I can say, though, holy shit, my wife was a paranormal battery of something. I mean, you know, I, I'm, I know a lot more than I'm saying on that uh, matter, but uh, my wife and the paranormal were hand in hand. So, I get home from work, right? after all this shit happening the night before. And I walk in and I'm like, man, you won't believe it. I saw something at work today. And she goes, I know. <laughs> it's like, cocksucker. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like what? She's like, I know. I saw. I'm like, what are you talking about? I mean, you didn't come to work with me. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> she goes, the thing you saw in that vault. I'm like, yeah. And she's like, yeah. I had one open here. So right away, I haven't told her that I saw a portal, but she's telling me that she had something open, you know? And I'm like, what did you have open? And she goes, well, the thing you saw was dark. I had a white one open up on this uh, uh, closet door over here. And I'm like, well, what the hell is it? And at this point, my wife was a real asshole with this shit. <laughs> she goes, oh, I don't know. And, and of course, you know, that means she totally fucking knows, you know. <laughs> Which kind of pissed me off because, you know, uh, I, I'm like all fucking hyper and excited about this shit. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, what is it? What is it? You know, and she's like, you know, won't, won't answer. You know, kind of pissed me off. But that was her in a nutshell. We're not together anymore, and I don't think I'll probably ever see her face ever again in my entire life. Which is not a bad thing, if you guys ever understood more about that. But, uh, I mean, when it came to the paranormal, all bets were off. I mean, for all her, her flaws and everything like that, when she was talking to paranormal, she wasn't fucking goofing around. I mean, there were times where, you know, I could tell she was kind of, you know, embellishing a bit. But then again, I had seen shit with her present. Uh, too many times to be like, oh, she's a, a liar and anything she says about the paranormal is not true. That's not the case. I mean, I've seen things with her. Like I said, I saw the cat with her. You know, she was right there in front of me. I open up the door. She's in front of me. We both get stopped and we're looking at a ghost cat or whatever the fuck it is, you know? And uh, likewise, I didn't tell her that I had seen a portal at work, but she was already talking about an opening that uh, I had not even mentioned yet, you know. So she definitely was in the know with the paranormal and probably to an extent of which I am nowhere near, I would imagine. Whether or not she's still there or if she's one of those poor souls that get it stripped from them, I'm not going to go into that either. But, you know, she knew shit. And she was able to tell me what I was talking about before I, I got done with it. So yeah, what was the portal? Don't know. Never do. This shit just happens. I have no fucking idea what the fuck these things are. Ever. I mean, it's it's always like this. It's like, <laughs> shit just happens, you know? It's about as uh, exciting as a bug flying in front of your uh, fucking face. It's like, hello. It just like floats there and it's done and it's over and you're like, well... That wasn't exciting in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I guess it is a little bit exciting, but eh, it's over so quick. I mean, 
you know, things appear, then they do some little quick thing and then they're gone. And that's it. You probably won't see them again, at least in that event, you know? I mean, I'm, I've, I'm of a strong belief that things have to charge up and stuff just to do the most mundane things because it's just something I've noticed over time, you know? It just seems like there's a recharge time that fucks them up or, or something. I don't, I don't really know how it works. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, and it's not that dramatic. I mean, <laughs> you know, I remember, like, I, when I was little, I would try to tell kids about the shit I would see in my parent, you know, in the house I lived in, and it'd be like, then what did it do? And I'm like, eh, nothing. It just, it just, that was it? <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck? It's like, that's it? It didn't do anything? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing else to talk about. It's just, yeah, this thing happened. And that's the whole story. You know, it's like, shit. <laughs> There's just nothing to say. Uh. <laughs> I'm missing a piece, I think. Or something. What's wrong here? What am I doing wrong? <sighs> oh, wait. No, that's right. That's wrong somehow. What did I do wrong? Maybe this was supposed to be elevated? But I don't see it elevated there. Hmm. It's a small fuck up, but a fuck up nonetheless. I mean, you know, nowadays I, I don't see much stuff, although I occasionally do. And I've seen a lot more stuff than I'm talking about here, that's for fucking sure. <laughs> a lot more stuff. But, you know. I don't know if any of you out there who might be listening to this uh, know what I'm talking about, but it's like, man, don't you get fucking drained talking about this shit? It's like talking politics to a person that won't listen, you know? It's like, it's just really taxing. I don't know why. Who knows? Maybe it's those supernatural rules I was mentioning. Maybe we're not supposed to talk about shit. Maybe we're not supposed to, uh, go into too much detail. I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna go into detail on this matter, but I will say that I have seen when people get stripped because they've been gloating or bragging or... <laughs> requesting people to worship them in some fashion. And next thing you know, hey, guess what? They can't do shit. They barely remember shit. Hmm, funny how that works. They went too far, uh, you know, talking about something, apparently. And I don't think I'm talking too much by talking what I'm talking about now, because I've done it before and I still am able to have weird shit happen, so I guess I haven't broken any unspoken rules yet. And I certainly haven't gotten the feeling like, ooh, shit, I've broken a rule. But what I'm saying right now definitely does apply. I mean, I do feel really exhausted after talking about shit like this. I don't know why. It just is. It's just like everything else I've been saying. It just is. Why? Makes no sense. And I totally don't see that other brick there. And I know I didn't use it, so where the fuck is it? That sucks. Mm, yeah, I don't see that brick anywhere. That's funny. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if in lieu of having that brick, they gave me these three extra pointless bricks to make a brick that size. Yeah, it looks like that. that's what they've done. <laughs> I bet that's probably the deal here. Hmm. I kind of don't like that. <laughs> yeah, because it looks like the rest of the parts are halfway, you know, sane here. Very odd. I also don't see that brick either. Oh, here it is. Doing. Once again, I'm getting 
screwed up by our color system there. And boink. Yeah, it's cute. Will I put the 7-Eleven lo uh, logo on it? No. No, I will not. Because I don't want to. <laughs> because I'll probably be using these pieces for a larger version of the set later on. And what do I have left? All these little bricks here. I really don't know what I did wrong there. I thought I followed it perfectly. Eh, who knows. Uh, just for clarification, this is a miniature Lego set. It doesn't quite fit these guys. You know, these guys don't interact with this because they're way too fucking big. But, yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little story time and, uh, well, I call it story time, but I hate using the word story because then it sounds like it's something that you're pulling out your asshole, which I most definitely am not. <laughs> I mean, I goof around about things and stuff in life, but when it comes to paranormal shit, I mean, the waters are already fucking muddied enough, you know? I mean, you know, thanks to Hollywood and shit like that and fucking religious wackos everywhere. I mean, you know, ugh. I mean, fuck. I mean, religion, the last thing it needs, or, or I mean, the paranormal, the last thing it needs is people, you know, making shit up or, you know, saying shit in dramatic fashion, you know. I mean, it might be mundane, but, man, if it was mundane, keep it mundane. Don't embellish it for, you know, dramatic effect. Stick to what actually happens. You encounter something supernatural, go into analytical mode and just fucking study. Study, study, study. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the end of the video for now. Uh, like, subscribe, and if you have anything to talk about regarding the paranormal, uh, I might just have an ear for you on that, because, eh, you'd probably understand if you know what I was talking about. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. I forgot one thing. Mm, how did I forget that? What the fuck is that even? I don't even know what that is. Is that supposed to be a mailbox or something? I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm an idiot. <clears throat> Scraping away some excess goob on it. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But it's there. <laughs> that's a problem with putting things in a small scale. It doesn't quite make sense after a while. Okay. Uh, talk to you later.